So, Glenn Tilbrook and Danny Squeeze of the Mighty Squeeze and 9 Below Zero respectively. You've now got together and did and done this. The cooperative. Super groups are back. <laughs> I don't know, we're just neighbours. It is a super group though. Yeah, right. no, no, yeah. <laughs> super. Yeah, absolutely yeah. super. Um, we, um, we started sort of um, seeing, seeing each other. I've always loved Nine Below Zero and my love has increased rather than decreased. <laughs> and um, a few years ago they made a record here, which I thought was a, an, an amazing record. It's never too late. Um, and we started talking about music, and in, in particular, we talked about the Fleetwood Mac with uh, Peter Green and Danny Kerwin and Jeremy yeah. Spencer and mm. three guitarists that never seem to tread on each other's toes. And there, there, there aren't many bands where that sort of thing happened. And what went mad? <laughs> they all went mad, yeah. Uh, but we, you know, we discussed the thing. You know, we're we're very different sort of guitarists. I wish I could play like Dennis, but I can't. But I've got my own thing that I'm proud of. Mm. And, uh, and I think it, it, it happens because we're not similar guitarists that we actually complement each other really well. Mm. So that was that was the beginning of the idea for. for also, I think you know you don't get the recognition you got because of your songwriting prowess and everything. The goes of squeeze, you seem to get put aside as a guitarist. So it was nice for you to, you know, love to stretch out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then Mark, you know, Mark yeah, Mark is a whole course, different thing, ingredient on top. You know. mm. It started off with that with that Beatle track. Is that what? Oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For the mojo. Mojo rang Glenn up and said, Will you do this? You never give me your money. Yeah, and so, um, and Nine Below were in the vicinity. So we, yeah, did, we mm -hmm. did it together, and, mm -hmm. and it was so nice yeah. to work with them. It was so nice, you know, and we all made a good noise together. And I think the thing about the thing about us working together is that is that they pull me in a different direction and I pull mm. them in a different yeah. direction and yeah. what we get is something that's neither one of us but mm. some product of, of both of us yeah. and it's yeah. uh... Because it wasn't the first time you've done a song together, was it? You did, years ago you did, I, I met, I've met Glenn various times around Blackheath and Charlton and uh, we bumped into each other and also toured with Squeeze in America in 85. So we bumped into each other we, all, all through our lives. Um, and I was down Blackheath, I bumped into him and he borrowed a guitar and then I, I think we were connected through Miles Copeland, there was a connection through some IRS thing, Miles Copeland thing and uh, we wrote a song called Hang Man and Sam mm. yeah, for, for the 9 Below Zero. Album. Which I thought would, would have been on here. Well, we'd forgotten about it. I didn't play Glenn it until after we recorded it. I said, Glenn, I've oh, just found this, and we'd totally forgotten about it, yeah. you know. Um, but that was done at Black Heat Studios, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So what's happening now? What are you going to do with it? We've done some festivals. We were going to do Kenny Jones's festival. I don't think you even said what it's called. They are the cooperative. Oh, yeah, yes, it yes, got, it got yeah. rained off. Um, oh, yeah, so Kenny we, Jones. We did, we've done a few, haven't we? Uh, did, oh, we did four dates last year. Yeah, well, well I think, you know, the, the plan is for us to do some more, but we haven't got any specific no. plans at the moment. You know, I think the thing is, for, for both of us, I, th I think, you know, in, a, in all our respective lines of work, uh, everything's always up in the air, you mm. know, and you're just trying to wait and see when the time's right for us both to do it together. Yeah. There will be a time. We'll oh, okay. Yeah, and it's great playing them live. <laughs> yeah, really the bonus. Work, yeah. <laughs> and then we throw a few of all their songs in and bits Because you write separately, don't you? you? You don't write in collaboration normally, do you? No, I, you, no I've never been lucky enough to find a partner. So what would you like working with something different? Well, for Glenn or me? Yeah. Well, uh, De Dennis, um, as far as I can tell, Dennis occupies the same place in Nine Below that I do in Squeeze, and that's quite weird that two people are actually yeah. push yeah, yeah. you know um, and um, that's a great place for me to be in I, I, yeah. like, I, I like having someone else saying oh, go on go yeah. on okay, yeah. what about this yeah. how about that yeah. how about this you know and, yeah. you know so making you think of extra possibilities and spurring you on that's a really good quality that Dennis has got on it. Mm. I think the main thing was it was really fun doing all that that, that was really lovely it was in our downtime wasn't it yeah. so and because we Live close together. It was, and everybody lives around. It wasn't that hard to get here, and just you know, all this. Yeah, with exactly. And 
so if we had a spare day, because as we say, we've got a lot of busy lives and stuff, it was great just to pop in. And actually, yeah, how about that? And mm. working off each other and playing guitar. That was the um, dates of real. Well, it went well, didn't it? Four or five dates, yeah. yeah. Four or five dates, yeah. Did people understand what it was, what it was about? Mm, or did they come yeah. expecting it? Yeah, they, well, they're always going to want to hear Tempted or something, aren't they? Or, or 11 plus 11. Yeah, well, we have some we things, some of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah but we we did. you know what? Yeah. To put it in that context, mm. Everything like that works. You yeah. know, it all works because yeah. it's a, it's a, you know, we're lurching from one thing to another, but mm. in a really good way. I've right. never had. To, we did three times enough, and uh, you know, two guitars. I've never done it with another guitar part, and that was really weird. You know, oh, I mean, it fun. fantastic. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was all good actually. 